The Leaning Tower of Pisa is famous. It is famous for its tilt, a unique feature that has fascinated people for centuries. But how did it get that way? The story of its tilt is as intriguing as the tower itself. It all started in 1173 in the city of Pisa, Italy. Builders began work on what was intended to be a grand bell tower for the cathedral. They wanted to create something special, a structure that would stand out. The tower's design was ambitious, featuring intricate details and a series of arches. It featured multiple tiers of arches and columns, showcasing the architectural prowess of the time. However, there was a problem. The ground was unstable, consisting of soft soil and clay. The foundation was too shallow to support such a massive structure. By the time the third story was built, the tower began to lean. Construction had to be stopped. Wars and political unrest in the region further delayed the project. It resumed almost a century later, with new builders taking on the challenge. Builders tried to compensate for the lean by adjusting the construction techniques. They made one side taller than the other, hoping to correct the tilt. This created a curve in the tower, giving it its distinctive shape. The tower was finally completed in the 14th century, standing as a testament to human ingenuity. It was already a famous landmark, attracting visitors from all over the world. And its lean was only getting worse, making it an even more fascinating marvel of architecture. Centuries passed and the Leaning Tower of Pisa continued its slow, inevitable tilt. The Leaning Tower of Pisa kept leaning, defying gravity and the expectations of many. By the 20th century it was clear that something had to be done to save this architectural marvel. The tower was in danger of collapsing, with visible cracks and an alarming tilt. In 1990 the tower was closed to the public for safety reasons. It was no longer safe for visitors, and the area around it became eerily quiet. Experts from around the world were called in to assess the situation and find a solution. They used modern technology to study the tower. They drilled boreholes, conducted soil tests, and built scale models. The results were alarming. The tower's factor of safety was precariously low, indicating a high risk of collapse. It was on the verge of collapse, a disaster waiting to happen. Immediate action was needed to prevent a disaster and save this iconic structure for future generations. The first attempt to save the tower involved using counterweights. Engineers placed 600 tons of lead on the north side of the tower. This helped to reduce the tilt slightly but not enough. But it was only a temporary solution at best. Next, engineers tried to anchor the tower to the ground firmly. They wanted to create a more permanent solution. However, this plan backfired badly. The anchoring process actually made the tilt worse, not better. Other ideas were considered and then rejected. Pumping groundwater from beneath the tower was deemed far too risky. Electroosmosis, using electric currents to stabilize the soil, proved ineffective and unreliable. Engineers needed a new approach to solve the problem. Finally, a solution emerged after years of research and countless debates. Engineers decided to try under-excavation, a method that had shown promise in other projects. This involved carefully removing small amounts of soil from beneath the north side of the tower, a process that required precision and patience. The idea was to allow the tower to settle back into a more upright position, counteracting centuries of gradual tilt. The under-excavation process was slow and delicate, involving meticulous planning and execution. It took months of painstaking work, with engineers and workers collaborating closely. But it was successful. The tower's tilt was reduced by almost half a degree, a significant achievement considering the challenges. It was the most significant improvement in centuries, marking a milestone in the tower's long history. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is still standing today, attracting millions of visitors from around the world. It is no longer in immediate danger of collapse thanks to the innovative efforts of the engineering team. The under-excavation method, along with other stabilization measures, saved this iconic landmark for future generations. And while the tower still leans, it stands as a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to preserve the wonders of the past, ensuring they endure for years to come.